actor Simon Helberg, who many of you know from TV's hit show, The Big Bang Theory, but now he is co-starring with Meryl Streep in a delightful new comedy called Florence Foster Jenkins. I, I'm very excited to, to talk about it with you and well, give you the spiel. I'm here today and all I hear is how I'm chasing crazy dreams. They'll see, cause I've got perfect songs and melodies just waiting to come out of me. And you'll sing along like, oh, whoa. Fancy words, clever lines and tales that take you back in time. And you'll sing along like, oh, whoa. Everyone will know They should have believed in me Hey! Hey, <laughs> boy, we got a show today, don't we? You know, we do, and we're gonna, we're gonna try something, something different because, I don't know about you, but I have heard for the longest time, Mom, I gotta, I gotta get back on. I gotta get back on the show. Well, if folks remember, when we first started, mm -hmm. we hadn't been into the show three months, and we thought, let's let the kids open. Well, do you, do you remember how it went down? They locked the door, we couldn't get in. That's right. Yeah, yeah they decided to hijack the whole show. That's right, and they did, and uh, we invited them back this time. We did. We because did. it's a couple of years later, kids yes. grow and they change, yes. and who knows what's gonna be said, and I'm kinda scared. And they didn't want to do just a hello. I mean, they insisted on doing like segments, the whole segment, the open, the close. Yeah. Are you okay we with that? will look at everything for yes, it airs. Yes, we will before yeah. it airs, absolutely. So, buckle yeah. up. Exactly. <laughs> Here it goes. Hey, welcome to the Spiel. I'm Wyatt. And I'm Hannah. And today we are going to talk to you about um, how the Spiel is. <laughs> It's come so far, really, and we started off, uh, we've done this a couple of years ago. Hello, I, is this thing on? Oh. Hello, I'm Wyatt. And I'm Hannah. We have a big show for you today. Yep, while our mothers are slimming it down in the gym, we decided to take over the, the spiel. spiel. So you better hold on to your boots, cowboy, because here comes sports. We don't have sports. Oh. Well, in that case, here comes weather. We don't have weather either. Oh. What's wrong? I never get direct sunlight because of my mother. How so? Well, she just never lets me get direct sunlight, so that's why I'm gonna give a really, really bad impression of her. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Eat your soup! Eat your soup! Go to school! Go to school! Go to sleep! Damn it! Alright, now you're done. My mom? Okay, ready? <laughs> okay. Well, we'll be back right after this commercial break. What? Oh. Oh no. What is it? It's our moms. They're on their way. Uh, I guess we better book. Uh, see you later! Wait, this is never shut. What? What's locked? Uh, it's never shut. After you. And we're honestly amazed and really proud of our moms, how they've gone so far with this. And um, so today we decided it would be the uh, kid version again. We, we threw a rave and we really wanted to get back on the show. So uh, I was talking to uh, Julie earlier and she said that you had like five things that you do that annoys her or something. I don't know. I think it was the other way around. Okay, all right, so, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, we'll go back and forth, how about that? Sure. One, whenever my mother sneezes, that's one of the things that is kind of funny. Because when she sneezes, she doesn't sneeze, she screams at the top of her lungs. Like, you guys have heard it. Um, whenever she screams, it, it like, we're not sure if she's like in pain or if she's sneezing. So like someday something's gonna be happening to her and we're not, we're, bless you, sorry. I have, I've got a simple just number one here for my mother. Whenever she's got like a sore throat or something, she goes <laughs> and I, I don't know if that's to clear her throat or something, but I honestly think that she's just going through something and kind of like it. 
<laughs> All right, your turn. You just heard a little bit of it. My other ones are laugh. It's kind of like a <sighs> and then either that or a wop ba 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 ba. No. <laughs> Same here. My mother's laugh is just like it. It's scary. I don't. I don't really care for it much, but. Well, besides bashing our mothers, let's say a nice thing about them. Okay, um, my mother is, she really puts herself out there. I mean, she's not afraid to get on the air. She, that's what I admire about her, actually. She is able to stand up in front of an audience or, like she normally does a spiel, and uh, I think that I'm really proud of her for doing something like that. As you all know, my mom's really funny. So whenever I'm down or sad, she's usually there to lift me up and make me laugh through hard times. Yeah. So uh, we've got an interesting lineup for you today, and um, I think you guys will enjoy the show today. All right, guys, this is again Hannah. And Wyatt. And you're watching The Spiel. The stay, Spiel. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Coming up on The Spiel. When I was really young, I fell in love with bluegrass music. When I was probably 12 or 13, I started playing bluegrass music. The winning choir with the most votes got to sing with Fournart here in Fest. Now, a lot of excitement about today is our 70th anniversary. In 1946, we started. Just want to say a few thank yous. My mother, she's been here all 70 years. My family, all the employees and staff of Southside Lumber. 25% of our staff has been here over 15 years. We're able to service a much broader range. We've added about 50,000 square foot to our facility. We'll be able to show people and showcase a larger selection. Like us on Facebook and follow us for the next 70 years. The word team is what we strive for to take care of you as our patient. T stands for technology. E stands for efficiency. A stands for affordable. M stands for medical. Allow us to be your medical home. At CRHPC, we have over 13 sites to serve you. Find us on crhpc.org. Confidence. Trust. It's not just an account, it's a relationship. It's not just the loan, it's adding value. When I said we're passionate about the people we serve in our trust department, gosh, I mean it. Customers always come first. At the Bank of Heron, it's not just a loan, it's a relationship. If we're going to be different than our competitors, it has to be that relationship, that friendship, that trust. It is not just a bank, it's a relationship. Yeah, I think it's building the relationship. At John A. Logan College, we make your future our priority number one. Your education should be all about you. We know that you're balancing work, school, and family, and we know that an education can change everything for you. There's a reason why so many students are choosing John A. Logan College. Because it's where I won my confidence. Discover John A. Logan College, where it's all about you. And welcome back to the spiel. Something really cool happened here in Southern Illinois that I really want to share with everyone. Yes. Jessica White, the choir director at Murfreesboro High School, Murfreesboro, Illinois, got to experience with her incredible choir something really cool. Yeah, you did. I'm jealous. Okay. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> I'm jealous. It was an awesome experience. I wish that we could have taken the entire choir, but Forner um, asked that we only take 25, so we kind of went by seniority and the kids that wanted to go. Okay. Um, but we had a competition that was uh, put through Magic 95.1, okay. and the winning choir with the most votes got to sing with Forner at Heron Fest. What we do is we work with schools and you know because of the funding problems at schools now um, you know the first thing that they cut is the music sure. Yeah, sure so we're trying to help the music programs and we they they sell our CD here and we give the proceeds to their school and wow that helps them Good for you. they come up and sing the song with us it's a win-win for everybody and we're having a great time doing it Show me. 
that right here, the select 25, say, look at it, look at all of them. They're, they're like, 17. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're oh, they're 17? A few. Oh, well, can't I can't count. count. I can't you know, here on the spiel, we don't count. <laughs> um, but yeah, congratulations, guys, that you were the show. When you got your golden ticket, what did it feel like? Oh, wait, that's a whole other show. No, no, I, no. I, I got a question right off the bat. Who ever heard of Foreigner before this happened? Yes! yes. That's, I'm Man, so happy. Foreigners were just one of those bands. So Perfect. what happened? You got there that day because you learned what you're supposed to learn, and you got there that day, and they showed you which parts to do. Did you get to practice with them or just? No, actually, right before we went on the stage, we're actually standing backstage, and they said, okay, everybody uh, sing the chorus. Don't sing any harmony. And we'd been practicing singing harmony. They uh -oh. said, let them sing the verses and go. And so we walked onto the stage and that's what they did. But these guys are so good. They are flexible and they, they know how to adapt to change. So it was great. Well, you can, you can answer this question with a, a head nod. Um, I, I think the, I, I know the direction it's gonna go. Experiencing that and, and seeing a, a big time show and seeing the fans and their reaction, would each of you like your own personal stage career in being the front person? Yes. yes. Okay, see, we didn't have a Was it not really cool to look at that big crowd watching you sing? Yeah. Anybody want your autograph when you left? Yeah. Did you sign autographs? <laughs> you should have. You should have. <laughs> now let's look at this. It says, we are foreigners, choir, rock stars. Turn around. What does Turn it around. say on the back? You would get the one with the long I hair. I want to know what love is. I want to know what awesome. love is. That's awesome. awesome. And your moms are here today to support you. And I know the entire town had to get behind you and all of Southern Illinois. And now you have these signatures that you can sell on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> First, we make prints. It probably could. You know, the way that the uh, state budget is going. There you go. It might be something that we maybe should do. But no, this will be hung up in the choir room at the high school. So something we'll never forget. <laughs> Watching the Spiel. We're trying to make banking as easy and painless as we can. We have uh, a track record of doing business well beyond the county borders. And there have been great opportunities, you know, in Jackson County, Williamson County. People with the foresight to, to take some risk and do some, some things. We try to have a direct relationship with all our customers. How's it going? You know, make them feel at home. We're a hometown bank. That's what we're about. Celebrating 100 years. Find us at DuCoinStateBank.com. Prairie Farms presents Did You Know with Chef Rob. Did you know that Prairie Farms Dairy is owned by over 600 farm families? Locally produced, 100% real dairy, Prairie Farms. Check out our website at prairiefarms.com. When I first came to Dr. Hughes, I was losing my teeth. And he was one of the few people I could find could actually work on this problem that I had. Implant dentistry is truly one of the most revolutionary advancements that's occurred in dentistry. And I always felt my health and well-being were priority to him. Every patient has an individualized treatment plan or care. Not one solution is appropriate for every type of patient that comes in. I've come here almost a decade. I think he's that good. Hey, this is Jeff Pilsen of Foreigner, and you are watching The Spiel, my favorite. We're spieling it in our Southside Lumber Kitchen, brought to you each and every time by Prairie Farms. You know, I have ate this gentleman's food for many, many years. Love, love, love it. Delish. This is Michael, in, I'm going to try it, okay? Michael, in, I can't roll my tongue, in Oh, very good. Do, Did she get it? it? In Travaya. Si. In Travaya. Si, in she can roll her tongue. That's good. That is Michael's, good. we just call it. Right. From yes. Johnson City, incredible food. Thank you. Incredible food. Yes. Hey, what are we going to make today? Uh, today we're going to be uh, making a uh, chicken carciofi 
again what the R R Car 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 She sounds French. Car We 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 Okay. So it's a chicken car chop. It's very uh, I wish I shouldn't say simple because there's a few uh, ingredients. I got it. You're trying to say cacciatore. No. No. Oh, okay. No, not, at <laughs> not at all. Not at all. The chicken. <laughs> but thanks for playing. But see, I thought that was <laughs> not at you. all. Not yeah. at all. Completely different dish. Yeah, different. Totally In different my day. ears, because it's cleared out now, it sounded the same. Totally different. Totally okay, different. I'm sorry. The chicken kachofi. It's it's a very quick uh, dish. So for people that like to do some very yeah. fast fast dishes, like okay. yourself. Perfect. You know, yeah. You do on the go. Busy with your, busy with your schedule. Okay. It takes about maybe less. Uh, Ten, less than 10 minutes. Nice. From beginning from, to eat? From scratch. That's it, yes. babe. All right. This is my kind of dish. So main ingredients, of course, is a chicken. Uh, uh, flat, flattened chicken. Uh, then, of course, you have to have some uh, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, I'm using some white mushrooms. Yes. But you can use whatever kind of mushrooms you want. Okay. Okay. So artichokes, quartered. Uh, Ooh. Some uh, white wine, uh, parsley. Oh, hey, pass garlic. that wine over here, <laughs> Chef. No, I'm, I'm totally teasing. Totally teasing. Uh, salt and pepper, and uh, really that's about it. And a uh, fresh lemon, and of course the oranges the is for a little bit of little uh, garnishment. Then okay. I will, I will accompany the uh, dish with some uh, vegetables, uh -huh. and of course I'm going to use some wine and oil, uh, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Really Very simple. nice. Hey, let's get right into it, just because okay. it's lunchtime. Okay. So, uh, first of all, you begin with the uh, chicken. Uh, again, uh, how you flatten the chicken, you use a meat tenderizer mullet, you use a uh, saran wrap, uh, or a, uh, a Ziploc bag. Everybody's got a Ziploc bag at home. Insert the chicken inside the Ziploc bag and just uh, flatten up the chicken. Meanwhile, you're doing this, you uh, begin with uh, putting the uh, about three ounces of olive oil in Ooh. the uh, skillet. Okay. You turn your skillet on, and while the, uh, the olive oil gets hot, I can uh, put the other uh, couple ounces of olive oil on the other skillet for the uh, vegetables. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we put the uh, chicken in there. You can see it's sizzling a little right. bit. Of course, we put a little pinch of salt, uh, pe pepper right now. Okay, pinch of salt. Okay. And as we do it, you know. And oh, there you oh, go. Oh, throw one over me because I need some good luck, right? There you go. We'll go like this. There you go. There you go. Both sides. Thank there you. you. Excellent. So we keep them. You sweep them later. Or yeah. <laughs> so we got the vegetables going right here. Again, a pinch of salt. This is very simple. Pepper. And this is going. Oh, yeah. We got the chicken going right here. Did you do some preparation with the vegetables before? No, pizza? this is a, a very simple uh, uh, broccoli, cauliflowers, and carrots. You can okay. you can add any 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 favorite uh, vegetables: zucchini, squash. Have they been beans. steamed and you're reheating? Yes. Or? Okay. They're, they're blanched. Steam. They're blanched. Bl okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Once you get the uh, one side uh, golden brown a little bit, you uh, will turn it about a couple minutes. Okay. You add your mushrooms. Uh -huh. You already choked. Right in there. Mm. Now the vegetables are almost done. At this time, I will probably add uh, two ounces of uh, Chardonnay wine. Chardonnay, okay. And that will what? What will that do to it? Uh, Just a flavor. little flavor. Yeah, flavor. sure. Wine always is good on food. Any food, food, huh? Any food. <laughs> good while cooking food, good yeah. while thinking of yeah. what you're going to have for dinner. Food. Good for, yeah. Okay, you uh, use a little bit of uh, about a tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley. So the vegetables are done. It didn't take very long. So I'm going to put these out the side. Okay, this is almost uh, almost ready. So then I'll take a, a table, a half a tablespoon of fresh chopped garlic. Oh, Ooh. that's what makes people run to the kitchen right there. Oh, mm -hmm. they're ready to eat. Three ounces of Chardonnay wine. Okay. Now we take a, a half a lemon. Um, I always try to get the uh, the seeds as much as I can out. There's but nothing worse than crunching. As I squeeze oh, the lemon, I always uh, squeeze it over my, put my hand on knees so I catch most of the seeds. And then we uh, finish it with a a tablespoon of butter. Oh, prairie farms. Just one yeah. tablespoon? The, the, it couldn't one. be it couldn't be complete without it. Once you do that, then you reduce the uh, the flame, the heat on the on the uh, chicken. And you melt the, uh, as you can see, how the, uh, the chicken is becoming here nice and creamy all the way around. 
All right, so that's it. It's They're done. Fantastic. Okay, so well, it was about less than 10 minutes. How about we plate it up and when we come back, we'll try sure. it. Sure, taste okay. it. Okay, we'll be right back. Well, I was born in this area, so I've only ever lived in a rural area. We come here, you would feel that it's a relaxed environment and that we take our time, we find out your history, what's going on in your life, and what your needs are. Well, they get more of a holistic uh, type of atmosphere. We are able to treat their physical problems along with uh, mental. We have, you know, 13 clinics, so we can find the specialty that you need. I'd like to, first of all, thank everybody for coming on this historic anniversary of the bank opening April the 7th at 1 o'clock in 1915. God willing, we're going to be here for another 100 years and serving the community, and we're commemorating that today. Your needs are our call to action. God bless you all. 100 years. I get the question all the time, why call Parker for our heating and air conditioning systems? The number one reason to call Parker is our team. They have the best attitudes. They love their jobs. They love this industry. And that's why our team shows up every day, to serve our clients, to be the leading team in this industry. Installing water furnace geothermal or servicing any make and model that you have, it's our team's desire to serve you. But hurry, 30% tax credit on geothermal installation ends December 2016. Parker Heating and Cooling, your water furnace geothermal expert. I chose career with college to get the skills I need for success in early childhood education, civil and construction, firefighting, medical billing and coding, welding, accounting, paramedic, drafting, environmental safety, nursing, occupational therapy assistant, medical laboratory technology, network administration, forestry, forestry. physical therapist assistant, criminal justice, ag technology, business management, industrial technology, IST legal, diesel mechanics, Three Rivers College. Success starts here. And I couldn't wait. Obviously, I, I already I had, you, to, I had to. Did uh, you try? The, I know you tried vegetables. You I tried did. The yes, Chef Michael, outdone yourself here. And again, the dish is called uh, chicken carciofi. It just sounds better when he says it, doesn't it? <laughs> now, at your restaurant, do you do primarily the main course dishes like this, or oh do you do some gosh. desserts? Some uh, we, we have desserts as okay. well. We have cannoli, uh, we have tiramisu. Uh, Ooh, tiramisu, that's my favorite. We have a zango, which is one of our... One what of is our that one? Zango. It's a, uh, it's a deep fried cheesecake that it's uh, rolled in cinnamon sugar and then it's uh, topped with the caramel uh, syrup and ice cream. Keep talking. Those it's are good. fantastic good. words. Chef, are you doing what you were meant to do in life? I mean, is this, are you fulfilled? Uh, well, I guess I, sh I should say yes, because mm -hmm. I started when I was uh, 14 cooking with my family. So uh, it was not really my goal, but I kind of, you know, follow the steps. And I know throughout the years, you've kind of probably changed things to your likings. But is there one dish that mama or grandma showed you that I'm sticking with this the rest of my life? Um, my mom's, you know, it's kind of funny because uh, you, you probably hear this all the time. My mom, my mom's meatballs, yes. my grandmother meatballs. Yes, and yes that, true. That's probably, yeah, that is true, yeah. Mm. That's one of the uh, uh, items that, that is still the same. Very good. Thank you very much. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for having me here. We'll be right back. Coming up on The Spiel. I'm a proud child of God, not of anything I've done, but he's just, He's blessed me more than I could ever imagine. We went up and did a full performance of Queen of the Night off camera for the extras so that the, that Stephen could get a genuine reaction from these people. I chose Three Rivers College to get the skills I need for success in early childhood education, civil and construction, firefighting, medical billing and coding, welding, accounting, paramedic, drafting, Environmental safety. Nursing. Occupational therapy assistant. Medical laboratory technology. Network administration. Forestry. Forestry. Physical therapist assistant. Criminal justice. Ag technology. Business management. Industrial technology. IST legal. Diesel mechanics. Three Rivers College. Success starts here. These days, video is everywhere. TVs, computers, even your phone. 
With so many ways to use video to reach your potential audience, it's become an important part of doing business. If you like the commercials you've seen during the spiel, and if your business could benefit from a creative approach to telling your story, with attention-grabbing visuals and thoughtfully executed scripts, perhaps it's time you give Growing Media a call. We'd love to hear from you. Hey guys, it's Mo Pitney, and you're watching The Spiel with Angie and Julie. Good morning to everyone. Thank you for coming out on this beautiful sunny day. I'm Kim Matroka, the CEO of Christopher World Health Planning Corporation. I'd like to thank all of you for being here today for our groundbreaking for our new building. Unless you have a district that has the rural areas like the Illinois 12, you don't understand how important it is to have those key locations where health care can be provided. For the staff that works so diligent and so hard to provide those needs, we want to say a special thank you. What our goals are are to build healthier communities and to serve the people. Today we're going to celebrate the 43,000 patients that Christopher Rural Health Planning Corporation takes care of across 11 sites throughout Southern Illinois. You're watching The Spiel. I'm 23, so. I've got shoes older than you, yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> really? Wow. <laughs> I'm Jason Pinkston, and this is your Backstage Pass. Today we catch up with country music singer-songwriter Mo Pitney. Let me tell you about country. Mo Pitney. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. <laughs> you know, I come from uh, the old country music, and I can just really appreciate what you're doing. Oh wow, well I definitely listen to the old country music. I don't know if I came from it or I just found it. Well I was going to ask uh, you where do you think your old country soul come from? I think I can owe it to bluegrass. Okay. When I was really young I fell in love with bluegrass music when I was probably 12 or 13. I started playing bluegrass music when Who I were you 13. listening to? Uh, Del McCurry, Tony Rice, um, Larry Sparks was a huge influence of mine, J.D. Crow in the New South. Uh, and that can kind of lead into the next question. Keith Whitley used to play for J.D. Crow in yes. the New South. Yes, yes. And uh, it, I kind of bridged the cat gap between uh, old bluegrass music to old country music when I kind of followed Keith's career as he went on into country music and I fell in love with Miami, Miami and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And instead of going forward from there, I went backwards and from I there. Love that. <laughs> and I went and found the people that influenced Keith, like Merle and Lefty Frizzell and all those different artists. And Tell me if this is correct. We talked earlier off camera about Google, Googling people and yeah. things being wrong. Here's something else I learned from you, or about you. Tell me if it's true. Um, Dad got you playing a guitar mm -hmm. early, and something happened. I don't know what, but you couldn't play the guitar no more, so he bought you a banjo, and that's what got you into bluegrass. Now, did you get hurt or? No, well, what happened is that I, when I started playing guitar, I actually picked it up on my own. The first record I ever learned was a uh, Johnny Cash record, Live in San Quentin. Before I decided to <laughs> learn how to play the guitar, I broke my hand. That's what it was. Yeah. So it's true. And, yeah. Google was true. It was. And I, I ended up learn. I learned how to play guitar with a, br a cast on my right hand. Oh, wow. And the cast went all the way up these two fingers. How'd and you? all the way down to my, I could just hold my pick and that was it. Okay. So this is my picking hand. Okay. And I laid That's a rag right. over my dad's guitar and learned. Now when I switched to banjo, it wasn't because of that. Actually by that time I'd gotten the cast off of my arm. And you were really into that music. Yeah, and I was playing, I, when I was playing Johnny Cash music in open mic jams around Northern Illinois, um, there was a group that came up after us that was a bluegrass group and I saw that the guy was tuning his banjo up and I told Dad, I said, I want to do that. And he goes, well I got a banjo at the house. And wow. So I picked up picks on the way home and I picked it up <laughs> when I got back. Self-taught again? Yeah, he showed me some roles. He, my dad, he was willing to show me things, but he n didn't show me a ton. He would show me one little thing, 
and I'd just kind of get, I'd take off with it. He got me with a, with a banjo. I remember he set me down with a click track, mm -hmm. and he taught me how to roll, and he didn't show me anything with my right hand. He says, you need to just be able to roll in time with the click track. Just do it for 20 minutes at a time. And, and that took what you I how long to get pretty good at that? Uh, as far as making a real roll one day. Ah. <laughs> and then I started getting ahead of Dad, and while he was at work, I had to figure out the chords, and I learned Aww. C, D, and whatever. I just kind of started to take off from there. And whenever I would get stuck, I'd go to Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about um, growing up in Cherry Valley. Valley. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's by Rockford, it Illinois. It is. It's kind of connected to Rockford. We were kind of on the outside of that to where... Uh, if you pass our house, it's really rural and just kind of country and cornfields and that so that's kind of all thing. you could do out there really. Yeah, was, was pick. Yeah, pick <laughs> and hunt and fish. That's right. I feel like we were just in the perfect place to kind of be able to go see a movie and or go out the other way, go or hunting be. and fishing and be a country kid. So speaking of kid, there's three of you. Yes. And mm -hmm. you all play music. Yeah, and my okay. brother and sister play for me. Uh, or I play for them. I don't know. They, uh, my brother plays bass and sings, and my sister sings Incredible great harmony. harmony. Yeah, and she sings great lead too. I wish she had more of an opportunity to sing lead. I started to but, tell you that. Um, enjoy her being with you for a while. Yeah, she's gonna be going on around. <laughs> yeah, you know I just what? got a call today about uh, a radio station that I visited a while back is gonna have her come in and play a show for them. And uh, I think that once people really get a hold of her, she's going to be gone. So Incredible voice. Yeah, she really does have That awesome sibling voice. harmony, too. Yep. You know, you can't beat that. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to miss her if she ever goes. Let's talk about the new country music now. What's your opinion on that? Well, I mean, I, th I think that I try to even put myself in a box. A lot of people will label me as kind of an older sound, an older, more traditional sound. That's just what naturally comes out of me, probably because of of what I was influenced by. But I'm, I'm more of a fan of artists than I am of a particular type of music. Mm -hmm. um, I obviously gravitate to more of a traditional sound and that's mostly what you're gonna hear when you jump in my truck. But I really respect people sharing their heart. And I know that there's there might be some music that might, might not be my taste, but I know that most people, I would hope to the best of their ability are just trying to do what they know how to do and express themselves. If and I jumped I in your truck that. right now, what would I hear? Probably Merle Hager, Roger Miller, um, Tony Rice, and Larry Sparks, and uh, Don Williams is a huge, I'm a big Don Williams fan, and probably James Taylor. Spent the morning pouring concrete. Coming up later on Backstage Pass. When people say that, then I really realize the power of God because God just changed a lot in my life. We're trying to make banking as easy and painless as we can. We have uh, a track record of doing business well beyond county borders. And there have been great opportunities, you know, in Jackson County, Williamson County. People with the foresight to, to take some risk and do some, some things. We try to have a direct relationship with all our customers. How's it going? You know, make them feel at home. We're a hometown bank. That's what we're about. Celebrating 100 years. Find us at DuCoinStateBank.com. Prairie Farms presents Did You Know with Chef Rob. Did you know that Prairie Farms Dairy is owned by over 600 farm families? Locally produced, 100% real dairy, Prairie Farms. Check out our website at prairiefarms.com. When I first came to Dr. Hughes, I was losing my teeth. He was one of the few people I could find could actually work on this problem that I had. Implant dentistry is truly one of the most revolutionary advancements that's occurred in dentistry. And I always felt my health and well-being were priority to him. Every patient has an individualized treatment plan or care. Not one solution is appropriate for every type of patient that comes in. I've come here almost a decade. I think he's that good. You're watching The Spiel. It's a boy and a girl thing. A girl and a boy thing. 
Hey guys, it's Mo Pitney, and you're watching Backstage Pass. Have you heard of a songwriter years ago named Skip Ewing? Yes. That's who you remind me of. Yeah, I have had a lot of people tell me that. Seriously? Yeah, oh, and I, I never studied his music. I've, I've only really uh, heard three or four of his songs, honestly. Gospel According to Luke, he wrote that with mm -hmm. a buddy of mine, Don Sampson. And I think that Don... A guy that I write with a lot, Don Sampson and Skip used to write a lot, and I think that they kind of both borrowed from each other their type of sound and style of writing songs, and I think I've borrowed a lot from Don. So wow. I think that's where people kind of get, is. yeah, because it wasn't directly from Skip because I didn't study him all that much. Any everything that I heard, I loved. Yeah, but I just I. I never really went out searching for a lot of music. All the music that I've fallen in love with, it's kind of found me. And uh, just for some reason, I haven't had much run-ins with hearing his music. Have you, so. you haven't got to meet him then? No, yeah. I haven't. But you got to meet Bill Anderson. Yes. How'd that I did. happen? I had a buddy of mine who writes for Curb Records, which is the label that I'm on. His name's Bobby Tomlin. And uh, he called me actually after a writing uh, pitch day, is yeah. what they call it. And uh, so I was sitting with Bobby and he called me the next day and he says, hey man, I love what you do. I had played some songs at that session and he says, I got a friend of mine that I'm sure you'd like to write with. I don't know if you want to or not. His name's Bill Anderson. And uh, would you like for me to set up a writing day? I'm thinking. Let me say yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do that. Wow. So uh, it was just the next week we got together and we actually wrote my first single the first day that we were together. And country. That was country. Country can be in the middle of the city. Country can be on a farm. Country ain't even. Yeah. I wrote that with Bill and Bobby, so. My co-host, who's not here today, is um, a gal named Angie Wyatt, and she texted me this evening and said, I'm not going to be able to make the, the interview with uh -huh. you and Mo. She said, but Julie, be sure to bring up, I, I, I researched him, and he's a child of God. Oh. That. that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm a proud child of God, not of anything I've done, but he's just... He's blessed me more than I could ever imagine. Amen. And he got me when I was actually running from him, so I can't even take credit in, in looking for him or trying that to... That makes it more special. Yeah. You know? I mean, he just loved me when I was at my worst, and so I love him. And I, I can't just, imagine you being worse. Yeah. <laughs> what, well, what's worst for you? Well, Did you get a speeding ticket? Well, that's what... When people say that, then I really realize the power of God mm -hmm. because God just changed a lot in my life, and Amen. I'm just so thankful. And he's I'm wrote not it. ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it's the power of God for salvation. He's already wrote your story, you know. When Randy Travis came out, he turned it all back around. It was getting yeah. kind of crazy mm -hmm. in, the, in the country music world. Things weren't country anymore, but mm -hmm. I think I think you're doing the Randy thing. Oh, wow. Well, us. I'm a huge fan of Randy, and, and I don't know if I'd be able to change anything or if it needs to be changed. I just really hope that my music has a place and I'd like to see uh, maybe give other artists that desire to have a more traditional sound an opportunity or a space at radio where they could share their heart too, you know. <laughs> you know what, we like to end our backstage pass with a little fun four. All right, I won't look. You can't see, all right. this is all you, okay? <laughs> okay. Haggard or Jones? Oh man, that's tough. But you gotta pick one. Probably I have to both. say Haggard because he's a writer as well. Give me your favorite Haggard song. Farmer's Daughter. That's a good one. Mexican or Chinese? Mexican. Okay. What do you get when you go there? I get two tacos, rice and beans anywhere I go and it okay. has to be an beef, authentic- Beef, chicken? Beef. Okay. And sometimes I'll get a steak taco. Is that good? Yes. I've never had one of those. Always gotta have my chips and salsa though. Guitar or banjo? Guitar at okay. this point. I haven't played banjo in a long time. I love picking it up, but uh, I'm not as good as it as I used to be. So, <laughs> Miami, Miami, or Chugalug? Oh man, uh? I think I'd probably end up with Miami, Miami. Um, some of my favorite Roger Miller songs were not as much of the novelty stuff. I do sing Chugalug. Do I really you? like it because it's it's fun, and sometimes I'm in that mood. But I tend to be a more serious person uh, when it comes to music sometimes and uh, some of my favorite Roger Miller songs are as really deep actually meaningful 
brilliant songs that he's got kind of hidden in, in the funny stuff, you know. And Miami, Miami is one of my favorite country songs. Do you know why I love that song? But the reason I really love it, and probably only musicians will know this, is that one off chord in the second verse. You oh, know? yeah. Do you Dude, love it? Yeah, yeah, it's a five minor. Is actually. it what it is? Yeah. <laughs> I just wait for that chord yeah. every it's time. It's at it the comes beginning on. of the second verse. Yes, yep. yes. Yep. Yep. That's a great chord. Yeah. Tell me someone that you've got to meet where you're like, <sighs> you know, oh my gosh. Probably I, Merle Haggard. That's, was it? That's my moment. There's not a lot of people that caused me to be nervous, but Merle was one of them. I got to meet him 2 4 2013. So you remember that date? Well, I wrote a song about it. Okay. <laughs> but it was over in a second. Then he strolled down to the stage. But it's okay. Cause I met Merle Hagger today. I'm Jason Pinkston, and this has been your Backstage Pass. Forecast pain. Forecast pain. Instead of forecast rain. Yep. That is a good I'm title. I'm thinking it's a horrible yep. breakup song yep. and the rain, you know, huh? Yep. Okay, when it hits the eye. All right. Okay. Okay. Coming up on the spiel. She's remarkable, isn't she? She can be a little flat. Flat? It defies medical science. I'm, I'm a fan of the, the themes in the movie and the, the questioning perception and um, people that are, are somewhat deluded by their own passion. Maintaining your family wealth and preserving your assets can be one of the most rewarding benefits of your lifetime. The Bank of Heron has the experience and position to help you with estate planning or establishing a trust. The Bank of Heron can even act as an unbiased trustee of your estate. We offer guardianships. We will serve as the executor of your estate. And it can give you the peace of mind that your loved ones will be taken care of the way you see fit. The Bank of Heron. It's not just a trust. It's a relationship. At John A. Logan College, we make your future our priority number one. Your education should be all about you. We know that you're balancing work, school, and family. And we know that an education can change everything for you. There's a reason why so many students are choosing John A. Logan College. Because it's where I won my confidence. Discover John A. Logan College, where it's all about you. Explore an ever-expanding variety of wholesome, locally grown foods when you shop Illinois. Where Fresh Is. For more information, visit IllinoisWhereFreshIs.com. Dr. Hughes has changed my life. I, I have a personality of smiling and laughing all the time. You're not just giving them teeth, you're giving them their life back. That they can enjoy their meals, that they don't have to cover their mouth anymore when they laugh or smile. I have my life back, I can eat, I can smile and be happy. It's incredibly rewarding. When I have that opportunity to do that, it really makes me feel great inside. Thank you, Dr. Hughes. We love making new friends. Visit us online at facebook.com forward slash spiel on. We're going to make a recording. <laughs> Bravo. It was wonderful, Bunny. Can I try another take? Well, I don't see why. That seemed perfect to me. When I was 16 years old, my father told me that if I didn't give up music, he'd cut me off. Of course, he didn't understand. Music is my life. Hi, everybody. I'm Tim Estilos with The Spiel on Entertainment. And I'm here with actor Simon Helberg, who many of you know from TV's hit show, The Big Bang Theory. But now he is co-starring with Meryl Streep in a delightful new comedy called Florence Foster Jenkins. First of all, congratulations on this great film. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I'm very excited to to talk about it with you and well, give you the spiel. Well, we'll get started. Thank you. Uh, well, yeah. A nice plug for the Woo. show there. Yeah. Uh, you play a unique character called Cosmo McMoon. Cosme McMoon. Cosme McMoon. It's okay. Thank Nobody's you. ever had a name but he, like this. But he's a real life character. He is. And so what was it about this character and this film overall that attracted you to this project? Well, the script was brilliant. And, um, and the name Cosme McMoon was also Brilliant. So uh, it, it it kind of reading this, even being in in 
consideration in any way was so mind-blowing that I, I, I just couldn't fathom that it was going to happen and it, it kind of fell out of the sky and it was eerily easy uh, from you know the moment of reading the script to, to getting the role. My stroke, this is the talented young man I was telling you about. And let's get started. She's remarkable, isn't she? She can be a little flat. Flat? It defies medical science. But, but the project, obviously, working with Meryl and Stephen Frears uh, and Hugh, and but telling this kind of story, um, I'm, I'm a fan of the, the themes in the movie and the, the questioning perception and um, people that are, are somewhat deluded by their own passion. And, and, uh, and then my character is just somewhat of an alien. So all of those things were appealing. Clearly, it's every actor's dream, certainly a young actor's dream, to work with someone of the caliber of Meryl Streep. What yeah. was that like for you when you actually were on set and meeting her and collaborating with her? It was as um, as unbelievable as I guess you'd, you'd imagine it to be. My wife is ill. Singing is her dream, and I'm going to give it to her. We have to help her because without loyalty, there's nothing. You know, I played for the president when I was eight years old. Really? Yes, Little Miss Foster, they called me. I had very high hopes of becoming a concert pianist. But then when the nerves were damaged in my left hand, that was not to be. Rarely did a moment go by that I wasn't looking at her thinking, I cannot believe that I'm, and I'm th going through all of her movies and looking in her eyes. Um, but at the same time, that also kind of fell away because she's, She's a, a fully vulnerable human being and generous and kind and collaborative. And we were really there to make uh, the best movie that we could make. And she sees everything almost in 360 degrees. So it's not about seeing the movie through her character's eyes. or She's seeing how this story needs to be told. The lady is a lesson in courage and we love her. Oh God. She must never see this. I'd like every copy of the post that you have. I just think this might be too much for you. This is my favorite place, and I'm going to sing here. I cannot play Carnegie Hall with Madame Florence. We'll be murdered out there. There was a moment of shooting uh, in the Carnegie Hall sequence. She wanted to shoot all of the extras first, um, which meant that we went up and did a full performance of Queen of the Night off camera for the extras so that the, that Stephen could get a genuine reaction from these people. And so there she is, and, and there I am, doing this off-camera concert, um, which is something that someone of her caliber, you know, may not, may not be interested in that kind of thing. They may want to go home early, or they may not want to do their off-camera work or whatever, but she's there to get the best version of the story, and, and that's, uh, she's also a genius, so those things, you know, come hand in hand, I guess. But. Now, for those people who haven't seen the film, your character is a very accomplished concert pianist. Yeah. And you accompany Meryl Streep's uh, singing character. But people will be surprised to know that that's actually you playing the piano. So how did that get started in your, your, your background? Um, I think I wanted to be like a rock star. Well, I think I wanted <laughs> to really be in, in some boy bands uh, <laughs> in the 80s. Uh, and. And then I, I, much like her, didn't really have a voice. I had the dance moves, and I even had the ducktail, but I didn't have anything else going. <laughs> um, and so I started playing music, and uh, I played in rock bands, I played in jazz bands, and uh, until I was about 16, that was, that was my, that was my dream. I wanted to, to come to Boston. I wanted to go to Berkeley College of Music, and. Uh, and then I, I don't know, I just, I think secretly somewhere under that, I, I guess I, I probably always wanted to act and I, I fell into that uh, and, and I knew that's what I had to go do. And it was, I never thought the moment would come where I'd get to do both at the same time or, you know, I wanted to work with Meryl Streep. I wanted to go to Abbey Road and somehow I ended up recording an album in Abbey Road with Meryl Streep. So that was uh, very, very strange and, and still kind of, <laughs> Stunning to, to say, so. Expand your diaphragm, Florence! I think Madame Florence might need more lessons. You've achieved huge success by being 
Coming up on 10 years with the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. So clearly you've achieved a, a high level of fame through that. Now you're walking the red carpet with Hugh Grant and Meryl Streep. Are you prepared for or comfortable with the level of fame that this may bring to your career? Um, well, uh, now that you say it, I should probably call security. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I don't, yeah, I haven't thought about it it's hard to know what anything will be. I don't know. I didn't really know what the show would be either. So in some ways, being on TV incessantly um, and having so many people watch the show all around the world is, is sort of, it, 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 I can't imagine it, anything being more intense. You know, even if this movie goes on to do great things, it's still, it, it's, uh, our show is, you know, we are, we are impossible to avoid. Uh, even on airplanes, you'd have to jump out of the airplane if you if you didn't want to look at my face. So, I don't know how much more intense it can get, but uh, we'll see. I'm I'm ready. I, I I'm, I'm working out, so I'm very. I, sh I want to just put the word out that you don't want to mess with me. Uh, you're, you're, you're you're looking pretty buff, my friend. Well, it's it's just the, <laughs> the, way, the way this shirt hangs. Well, again, great congratulations on this film. Thank Continued you. Continued success with Big Bang Theory. Thank you. And also this film to come. We've been talking with actor Simon Helberg of The Big Bang Theory and the soon-to-be-released Florence Foster Jenkins. I'm Tim Estilos for The Spiel on Entertainment. Oh, there's a camera there, guy. I thought you were just talking. Oh, yeah, it was there. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Shout out. <laughs> Music is important and should not be marked. She has done more for the musical life of this city than anyone, and that includes you. 3,000 people. They need joy. They need music. But I'm afraid. Madam Florence, you must go on. This is what we live for, isn't it? This moment. It's going very, very, very well. I'm Kim Matroka, the CEO of Christopher Rule Health Planning Corporation. I'd like to thank all of you for being here today for our groundbreaking for our new building. You don't understand how important it is to have those key locations where health care can be provided. Uh, we want to say a special thank you. What our goals are are to build healthier communities and to serve the people. Today we're going to celebrate the 43,000 patients that Christopher Rule Health Planning Corporation takes care of across Southern Illinois. This is a program that the bank has launched and we are extremely proud of the teen debit card program. We're excited about it because you guys get a chance to become independent in financing. You have to be 16 years of age, you have to have a parent or guardian on the checking account with you, then the debit card's gonna come but it's gonna be in your name. So right off the bat, it's yours. It's convenient, it's very easy to use. I feel the debit card is more secure than just carrying around $20. It's not just a bank, it's a relationship. I chose Three Rivers College because it's affordable. It costs less, a lot less. Less than the same courses at a four-year university. And the quality is just as good. Maybe even better. Because at Three Rivers, classes are small. And instructors really care about their students. At Three Rivers, they helped me find financial aid. I'm getting a great education without a ton of debt. Three Rivers College. Success starts here. Register now. <laughs> the summer travel season is officially here. And any seasoned traveler will tell you, sometimes the journey is all about the stops along the way. Celebrating 50 years of helping you experience the journey. Larry's Trailer Sales. Located on Route 148 north of Ziegler, Illinois. You're watching The Spiel. Now how about that show? It was an amazing show this week. I was really proud of everyone who came on. They seemed to do a good job and... Great talent mm -hmm. out there. Yep. So, uh, how about you start it off? They, you... they usually have a word of the day yeah. on the show, and we chose one ourselves, okay. and it is called forest familiation. What does that mean? The act of liberating oneself from parental authority. You ready? Yeah, sure. Ready? For? Is? F. Mil? The? Asian. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
And now for the weather. We don't have weather. Oh. Well. Uh, sports. We still don't have sports. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so as we're signing out here, I decided to do something and you, we did the opposite of it earlier, but I wanted to name the things that really annoy my mom. I've got like a top two here. So uh, num number one, since I, I say that she's old because of this, but we all could do it. So anyway, I, I like do this to her skin and she thinks that she just, she hates it. She hates that. And um, all right, your turn. You, you say what, what does my mom hate that I do? Yeah. I think whenever, like, obviously she likes to like do obnoxious stuff, like like random singing. Sometimes I like just to pitch in with her, and it kind of gets <laughs> kind of gets on her nerves. <laughs> See, I'm not gonna do it on live TV. But and yours. hopefully, no one at home is saying, "Man, they look just like their moms," because I hear that all the time already. So I'm a boy too. It's not really. <laughs> See you next time. See Bye. You in a while. See ya. We're trying to make banking as easy and painless as we can. We have uh, a track record of doing business well beyond county borders. And there have been great opportunities, you know, in Jackson County, Williamson County. People with the foresight to, to take some risk and do some, some things. We try to have a direct relationship with all our customers. How's it going? You know, make them feel at home. We're a hometown bank. That's what we're about. Celebrating 100 years. Find us at DuCoinStateBank.com. Let's go to bed. More than just lumber. Southside lumber. I get the question all the time. Why call Parker for our heating and air conditioning systems? The number one reason to call Parker is our team. They have the best attitudes. They love their job. They love this industry. And that's why our team shows up every day, to serve our clients, to be the leading team in this industry. Installing water furnace geothermal or servicing any make and model that you have, it's our team's desire to serve you. But hurry, 30% tax credit on geothermal installation ends December 2016. Parker Heating and Cooling, your water furnace geothermal expert.